You know that show that The Daily Wire is putting out, that cartoon? Look at the worst thing I'm about to show you. This is like top 10 worst cartoons ever. Top two worst cartoons ever. This is a smart saw. This is a stupid store. Who's in charge here? Where's the manager? Ew, we don't have a manager. All team members are equals. Plus, manager has the word man in it, and we prefer gender neutral. Or womanager, but that's kind of hard to say and disrespectful to the dyslexia community, okay? Mr. Burcham. Why was the outro so much louder than the dialogue? I like, I was like, wow, the video is really quiet. Let me make it louder. Okay, I won't touch the, well, the volume slider is good. I don't have to touch it anymore. Suddenly, Mr. Bertram. Audio, <sighs> nobody, nobody ever cares about making audio consistent anymore. It's unbelievable. Um, why is that just this? <laughs> I'm seeing all your drinks over here. Caffiato, macchiato, bacchiato. What about, what about just a good old fashioned coffee? <laughs> okay. You just want filter coffee? Yeah, please. Uh, small or large? Uh, let's have a large. Here you go. You know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, some people will get burnt on this coffee and sue the coffee place. Can you believe it? I mean, now, if you're dumb enough to get burnt with the, with the coffee that you bought, can you imagine? Yeah, that's true, sir. It's pretty funny. That'll be three dollars. Oh, all right. Now I'm ge I'm guessing tip too, right? <laughs> These days, it, it, there, you gotta tip everyone. You know, even if they didn't do any work. I mean, what's next? You're gonna have me come behind the the, the counter. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. No, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just I'm just joking. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to tip you because you did something for me today that not many people in my life do. You listened. Uh, okay. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm seeing all your- It's like, the video starts out and you're like, what is this? And then as it proceeds, you're like, oh, I get it. It's a, it's a, it's an animation making fun of the fucking boomers who don't want to shut the fuck up and just get their coffee and leave. And then the high horse at the end, just, oh, mwah, chef's kiss. Oh my God. It's funny that people have predicted this type of fucking dog shit content and made parody content. It's my day off. Why are you making me watch this? Sorry, my bad. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's just hilarious. It's hilarious. It's hilarious that we've made parody of this type of person, this type of annoyed boomer who's just like the worst person on the planet that just feels like making his problems everybody else's problems. And then you make a show about the people that we hate, that society has collectively hated. Just unbelievable. Stop it. Stop. Nobody wants to watch your fucking dog shit Daily Wire cartoon, dude. No one. Please. Satire Inception, yeah. Yeah. And it's really sad because most of you were like, oh God, is this supposed to be serious? Because we're so used to seeing garbage like that. <sighs> so why are the ghosts trans? If you don't have a body, how can you be trans? Oh, well, well say less. I got you, dog. So um, for anyone who uh, uh, missed it, See where, oh, here it is. Libs of TikTok recently posted, new Nintendo America has gone woke. They just introduced a trans character in a kid's game. Vivian discusses her gender identity and her sister's transphobia with Mario. She says she realized she was their sister, not their brother. And it's like this ghost in one of the Mario games that says, the truth is it took me a while to realize I was their sister, not their brother. Now their usually usual bullying feels heavier. And someone accurately said, Vivian was originally portrayed as transgender in 2004 in the Japanese version of this game. This was actually censored in the United States, Lands of the Free, Land of the Free. The remake was not censored in the same, well, same way. Hell yeah, Nintendo. This is like a common problem also with like Americans' understanding of Japanese media. <laughs> Another good example or another good character is, um, fuck, what is, what's the Soul Eater's, like, androgynous character? Uh, Krona. Where in Krona, the wording that is used to describe them is not gendered. In fact, even if you look at the Soul Eater Wikipedia, it says gender unknown or sex unknown. Um, and obviously because of how language works. It's 
some languages have a lot more gender and other gen languages have a lot less gender. And so you can get away with not gendering that person. And like, it's, it's not weird at all in the language or whatever. Um, so in, in instances where they're referring to Krona and they're not using Krona's names or Krona's name, they're using a pronoun that is gender nonspecific. And so we still don't know their gender and they just are they, right? And I believe when they put the dub in it, they made Krona male. I believe. The same sort of thing happened with Sailor Moon, where Sailor Moon, uh, I forget which one of the Sailor Moons. I was not a Sailor Moon girly. I missed out, sadly. Um, but there's two of the Sailor Moon characters are like gay, I think. They're huge lesbians. I just don't remember the names of them. I don't remember which one. Mars and Mercury? Is it Mar Mar? Is it Neptune and Sailor Mars? No, it's I don't think it's Mars. Sailor Neptune. Yes. Yes. These two characters, these two characters are so fucking gay these are the fucking most lesbian ass bitches in any other fucking in any piece of media you can find they are so gay in the japanese version and i think in the american version they made them like cousins or something because they didn't want to make them gay and then they just censored any scenes that would be weird for cousins but, like, they explain, oh, they're just really close because they're cousins. Oh, now I get it. I wasn't understanding it before, but now you're saying it that they're cousins. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah. This idea that, like, we're just getting the woke version of things here in America is so stupid. It's just... It, fucking dumb libs of tiktok is also throwing a hissy fit over a character from splatoon 2 and 3 on twitter as well i mean it's not her fault well actually sorry it's her fault <laughs> she can't find anyone that loves her because she's just the most insufferable annoying person on the planet and she has nothing better to do because she has no friends or loved ones because they all hate her so she has to go on twitter and appeal to the other annoying people who also don't have any loved ones in their life it was also very clear that they were gay, even to my five-year-old self. It just made them seem like they were gay cousins. I know. Um, so yeah, this idea that like Japan actually, Japan is a weird one on like the topic of queerness because they have a lot of queer media, but then they don't treat the queer people right. <laughs> like they have explicitly gay media. And a good amount of it. And there's a lot of people who consume it. But then, like, if you're actually gay, it's like, whoa, whoa, what do you think you're doing, man? It's like, what? what do you, but, but you guys read fiction with, like, dudes fucking. And you enjoy it. What do you, why are you mad at me for being gay? Like, what? What do you mean I can't get married? So you guys can fetishize us and... and read hentai of us and we can't get fucking married are you kidding me what the fuck <laughs> so and they and and also japan loves to to um to have like the gender bent characters and they love to have like the um gender neutral characters where it's like we can't really tell if they're male or female but that's part of the appeal of the character the u.s doesn't really have that for some bizarre reason i don't understand why yeah, the U.S. equivalent is having a lot of media and movies and TV shows that's anti-imperialist, but then still being unbelievably pro-imperialism. Like, the American standard is being like, I love Star Wars. The U.S. should go and bomb any country that is communist. It's like... Oh. <laughs> 
did you not understand the meaning of this fucking series you watched? What do you, what do you mean you're, you're pro-American hegemony? Did you not understand? What it, or they'll be like, dude, Star Trek is so cool. Anyways, communism sucks. It's like, I'm, you're, going on here what is going on you ever look at someone and think what is going on inside their brain <laughs> we love the matrix but hate trans people yeah americans love to like to just to just ah oh. oh. unfortunately as a big sailor moon fan the author though i love some of her representation is probably a turf sailor starlight presented uh as men but transformed into sailor scouts who's vehemently against them being presented as trans in the anime because only a women can be sailors yeah i mean like Japan is not exactly, sorry, the world is not exactly very accepting of trans people. We still can't even get everyone on board with like adults holding hands with other adults of the same sex. We, 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 we're like, we still can't get some people on board with that. There are still people that walk this earth that see two dudes holding hands and they're like, I, I need therapy. Uh, I need, I need to sue this person for emotional damages. Um, I need medical treatment immediately because my heart rate is just, it's out of control. And this should just not be legal. This should not be legal. It's like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> They're just holding hands, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who gives a shit? What? <laughs> I don't care. I don't fucking give a shit, man. Oh my God. Don't most of these people not believe in therapy? You're right. Sorry, you're right. My bad. Mischaracterization. Um, anyways, anyways, got super sidetracked, but that's all to say this is what Twitter was made for. Watching Libs of TikTok embarrass herself by not understanding and not knowing anything about the things that she talks about and being like, they made the character trans. And not realizing, no, the character actually was trans, and then they untrans her for the American version. Actually, you guys got the censored version because they didn't think Americans would be cool with this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Dems, when are we getting a ban appeal stream? Dude, we haven't done, done one of those in forever. Some people think Helldivers is actually cool and not a criticism of US foreign politics and hegemony. So, yeah. Yes. Seeing people French kiss in public is weird as fuck to me. That's different. That's totally different, okay? Like, because that doesn't have anything to do with gender or sex. That's just like, you're, stop it. I don't want to see your fucking tongue down someone else's throat when I'm just trying to get a coffee, dude. All right? In a bar, okay. In a club, okay. In line, in the Dunkin' Donuts? Maybe not. Maybe not, okay? <laughs> Time and place, guys. Please. Please. Get a fucking room. <laughs> All right?